What am I supposed to do with that one? Ah! shooting things at expensive equipment. Unite <laughs> with one another and realsies. Oh, you look good. Hmm. So that happened. What's up, everyone? How you doing? Are you good? I hope so. If you're not, I hope things get better. Don't lose the faith. If you're new here, you don't know who I am. My name is Ebeth. Welcome to this channel where videos are posted. Angelo and I bought new glasses um, last week or the week before and we expedited the shipping. We, we buy glasses online and we tried a new online glasses shop this time. Look at this. Like, what am I supposed to do with that one? They were delivered and I really want to get them and try them and wear them because I think they're going to be super duper cool. But Angelo has the mailbox key. Josh is looking at me recording myself. He didn't think anything of it because this is completely normal. <laughs> Last weekend, I had the opportunity to drive to Dallas and drive back to support my mom and sister-in-law at a women's prayer conference. That was amazing. When I was preparing this message, the Lord showed me that the word unite and the word untie are created from the exact same letters. Come on. We have to untie ourselves from things that are keeping us separated. Untie from those associations that we, that we find our identity in. And we need to unite with one another and find our identity in Christ. And while I was there, I actually got to hang out with my friend Whitney for like two hours. <laughs> Whitney, I need you to come visit me, here. Yeah. When I got back home from Dallas, I was actually super sick, and so Sunday I had to cancel. I was supposed to lead praise and worship, but that could not happen because I sounded terrible when I was trying to sing. I really wanna to go to church, so I'm just gonna be really late. I also wanna kinda of take some pictures because Pastor Michelle is here this Sunday, so. We'll see. We had Pastor Michelle as a special guest speaker. It was incredible. He is not looking for you to blow up your life. He's showing up with that mercies that are new every single day to give you that again. Highly, highly recommend you guys go watch that full service because the message was powerful. I will link our church's website in the description box below so y'all can check that out. And if you're in the Austin area, like, come in person for realsies and today is thursday i have church things to do and i'm waiting for angelo to arrive because we are about to record a anniversary celebration video for our church in arizona which we have roots there like we go back my family was one of the first like 12 families to go to that church we were there opening day and we never looked back um essentially my whole entire life all of the changes, all of the moves, all of the ministry things have pretty much been a domino effect because of my family going to that church in Phoenix. Um, not only that, but Angelo's family was actually um, the ones who helped start that church. So my family were like new members at that church and Angelo's family helped start that church. So it's kind of weird because our roots go that far back, but we were not like super duper close as children. <laughs> Angelo and I actually got engaged at that church. So we were in Phoenix visiting my grandparents. I wanted them to meet, you know, my boyfriend because we knew we wanted to get married. Um, but before we went to see my grandparents that day, he was like, I want to stop at the church and like peek around the church and see what it looks like, all the remodels. And I was really frustrated because I just want to see my grandma and grandpa. It ended up being this elaborate plant run where he proposed to me on the stage in the sanctuary at the Phoenix Church, and it was so sweet. Hey y'all, Angelo went and picked up the glasses out of our mailbox. Angelo looked super good in his new glasses. He had to run, though. You'll see him later. So we will see if these are cute or not. They looked cute and trendy online, but they could be disastrous. But you know, if I could wear these, I feel like I feel like these can't go. They can't go too wrong. I feel like I should have got the gold. I definitely got the silver, but... Ooh. I need to adjust the nose. I don't hate them. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. I think they were only like $25, though, so... I mean, it's another pair of glasses. Just some more options in my life. They came with this really nice glasses wipe. 
real cute. I'm gonna go look at myself in the mirror some more and be vain and see if I like these glasses. <laughs> How cute his glasses are. Show them your glasses. And your haircut. Oh, you look good! Look how short I am, guys. <laughs> I make you look really tall, babe. I am tall. Here, take the camera. I, I am. Can't. I am five eleven. Are you really five eleven? Yeah, I'm tall as heck. You're not tall as heck. Yes, I am. Get the measuring sticks. You are not. You're a regular sized man. I'm five eleven. Eleven. I'm 4'11", so... 11. 11. Ain't he cute in his new glasses? Oh! We didn't film what we were gonna film because... I'm tired! We just can't. Ooh! Can I try? Are you not been detained? Are these dude perfect arrows? Yes. You bought a dude perfect product? Wait a minute! I saw the logo and I was like, wait, these are Dude Perfect. We love Dude Perfect. I want you to this shoot. This is really cool. Yeah, no. Shoot the top speaker over there in the corner. Okay. Pull it all the way back with all your might, yeah. Pull it all the way back. All the way, all the way. Oh, I see now, it's like launch position. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, you look like Cabin's <laughs> Everdeen. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be shooting things at expensive equipment. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for this video. Thanks for mm -hmm. watching. Mm -hmm. If you're new here, this is my husband Angelo. I'm Ebeth. We love Jesus and we live life as real Christians. Yeah! <laughs> Until next time, stay awesome, be you, and keep loving her.